family guys <clears throat> got an exciting video here for you today uh, something that we got for the boys um, just want to do a little review on it uh, so far so good uh, we got two of them of course uh, one for each of the boys but we want to give you a rundown on it and what we have here for you today is a Rossi RB22 the bolt action version and this is not this this is the non-compact version this is the standard version here uh, we've already got this one put together but i want to kind of show you what's in the box so i'm going to open the other one here kind of from scratch it's not been opened yet what you get in the box you get a warning label a little savings coupon for a scope and then also ten dollars off another magazine from rossi that's pretty slick Okay. I'm sorry for shaking the camera. The bolt comes in a bag here. I'm going to open that up so we're going to get that out of there. There's the little rimfire bolt. It's got your serial number right on it. in here an instruction manual also it's completely wrapped in plastic and so is the magazine it comes with a 10 round magazine just like a stick single stack mag Show you the other one here, but it's a pretty slick looking little gun. Let me get this back over here. I'll be a little better so I can make sure I'm showing you everything needs to be seen. Uh, so, first off, it comes with a fiber optic front sight and rear sight. It's got a hood that protects it and it feels. Hmm. Can't tell if it's plastic or metal, but it feels very solid. It's thin, so I think it's metal. Um, <clears throat> this thing is light. It's probably somewhere between four and five pounds. I mean, I'm holding this right now with one finger under the buttstock. I mean, it's super light. I could throw it at that. I mean, it's crazy light. And that's exactly why I picked this little rifle for the boys for a 22 rifle, something that they can hold out, hold steady. It shoulders very well at uh, kind of that first try here. Uh, I mean, when I come up, the sights are pretty much right there with my eye. Um, comes with a little chamber flag. <clears throat> I'm going to slide the bolt in here. I'm going to press the trigger. So the safety off to press the trigger, get the bolt in there. Bolt's a little stiff on cocking, but once it's cocked, it's pretty slick. Mm, it's not bad. Fairly smooth. Not bad at all. You gotta get a little aggressive on that part right there. But not overall not bad. Do a little good solid hammer. When cocked, it does have a cocked indicator. It shows red here. Fire pin goes in. It's no longer there. Uh, of course it has the model on the side of it here. Uh, the rear sights are adjustable via this wheel for elevation and this little wheel for a windage on the side. Uh, it comes from the factory pretty well greased up. There's a, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a lot of little grease on it that I will probably take some contact cleaner and spray on it and kind of clean that off a little bit before we go out and practice with it. A uh, little we'll stick magazine goes in there pretty solid click I mean it really locks in there press it with your finger forward right here behind the bag to remove it uh, also has a uh, dovetail right here on top 
for mounting a scope. I've got some scope rings and I have a little cheap like $35 scope, which evidently you can also save a little. <laughs> save 35 bucks off of that scope that comes in the box there. Uh, but all in all, a sweet little rifle so far, just at first glance. Uh, it does have studs front and back to carry it with a sling. Like I said, my boys are on the smaller side, you know, 10 to 12 years old right now. This thing is so freaking light. Like, I'm almost considering buying myself one as well because it's so nimble and just easy to swing and just so light. And I would almost keep the scope off of it. It's so light. I would like it. I mean, it's it feels great. I mean, of course, plastic stock, but I mean, it was 179 bucks. Can't beat it for that price. A nice little boat rifle. Uh, so, <clears throat> all that being said, now that we've got it unboxed, the next time you see me, I hope to have both of these at the range. Uh, maybe one with a scope mounted, one not. Maybe both with a scope. I'm not sure. I'd like to. I would like to shoot it open sided and with a scope. So we may do both. Uh, and try a couple types of ammo out and just see how accurate it is. Um, so uh, stick with me and let's uh, get these babies to the range. All right, so we are out here at the range today. We got the uh, the Rossi 22 uh, open sight. Uh, we're getting ready to test it out here at about uh, probably 10 yards. Just going to shoot it offhand uh, with a couple different types of ammo. Let me show you what kind of ammo we're trying out here. First kind we got here is 22 Aguila Super Extra 40 grain copper plated round nose. And then I have some CCI mini mag. Uh, both are in that 1230 to 1250 feet per second range. Both 40 grain plated round nose. We're gonna try both of those offhand. Like I said, we're out about 10 yards right here. I got a camera set up. There's a, a target, a little shoot and see target so you'll be able to see it really good. So that's a pretty good little group we got there. Uh, shot a little low to the left, but we can adjust for that on the sights. They're fully adjustable. Uh, so we'll probably do that. But right now I'm going to cover up these spots. That was, uh, and so that I can shoot the uh, CCI mini mags at the same target. CCI mini mag, loading five shots of that up. So I went ahead and adjusted them and I got them shooting absolutely perfect. As you can see, this has an up and down to twist that knob there. And it actually has a left to right to twist that knob there. Super easy adjustments. And I got it to where that little square right there was my last shot at 10 yards. I was aiming at that square and of course I put the bullet right in there. And then I adjusted the other one and I was actually shooting at these numbers on the target. And you can see how close I got to those at 10 yards. So very, very easy to adjust. I mean, super simple. I think the kids could probably adjust these uh, sights on this gun. So that's uh, that's a fantastic feature on these. All right, so we've, uh, we've got the scope mounted on here. And if you notice something about it, something I figured out, if you get one of these rifles, something you'll have to think about as well is the rear sight with a set of low rings is interferes with the scope okay so i actually had to take the rear sight off i mean i knew i wasn't going to be using it with scope anyway you could probably get some extra high scope rings um and kind of fix that if you wanted to leave them on there or you would have to try a different type of scope i thought different uh, lengths of tube might would work but you can see right here if this you can put it on the rail right here, but it, it hung over. I tried with a different scope that was a little bit shorter here to move that forward, uh, or a little longer here and a little shorter up here to move that forward, but it was still in the way the ring got in the way of the bolt closing. So that's something you gotta think about if you put a scope on one of these little rifles, but no big deal. And when you look through the scope with a set of low rings right here, uh, you can kinda see a little bit of this little haze 
but it doesn't really affect anything. I still got it sided in, uh, but we're going to set us up a target out here at 25 yards, use a couple of different kinds of ammo, uh, probably the Mini Mag and the uh, Gila Super Extra, and shoot us a couple of groups and just see how it groups at 25. So that shot at 25 yards, that shot a fantastic group. Um, I mean, all, I mean, I think I, I could have pulled that or could have been flyer. I see flyers from time to time out of that Gila super, super extra ammo. But overall, man, that's fantastic. Got our target all patched up, brand new, ready to go. We'll try some CCI mini mag. So you can see I adjusted down about 10 clicks and I put all five of them right there in that little tiny area. Those shot great too. So at 25 yards uh, with a scope, these guns are accurate. There's, I mean, squirrel killing machines, plinking machines, whatever you plan on doing with a 22 kind of machines. Um, they're light. Uh, they're a little rough on the bolt, just a little, but... I think that'll also, I think that'll smooth up. Nothing that it really concerns me. I'm used to a Tika uh, high-powered rifle. If you know how slick one of those are, so when I say rough, take it with a grain of salt. So with that being said, a light rifle that shoots good, easy to pack around in the woods, great for the kids. It's exactly what I bought them for. I think they're going to love it, and they're going to get plenty of good use out of it. And it's accurate with multiple types of ammo. The two types of ammo I've tried out of it crazy good accurate of course i didn't shoot 50 yards or anything like that but 25 yards 30 yards probably out to 50 yards i mean you're looking at less than an inch you're going to stack some bullets in there fantastic little guns cheap great price so if they get around beating and banging you know how kids are it'll be all right i'm not losing a ton of money got 200 bucks in the whole setup probably um so i would highly recommend these um if you like this video, if you like gun videos, hunting videos, fishing videos, all things outdoors, hit that like button for us uh, to support us here on BNC Outdoors um, and follow us along if you like this stuff. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, follow us along. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel.